I'm Jason Abraham and welcome to the Mendota Ranch. Make sure you get a video of me um, grooming him so I don't get my ass chewed out. Like, you didn't groom your horse. I'm like, really? All right, that's groomed enough for me. Got me a new laddie go on my saddle there. Gotta get all the stretch out of it. So this horse here, one of the clones, but his name is Mr. Sister. So he's, the reason we call him Sister is because he's out of he's out of a mare named uh, uh, Baby Sister. And I haven't got to ride him in quite a wh quite a while because we had an abscess. See right here, it's just it's just now healed up um, on the side of his face. There we I thought I thought it was a bad tooth because. He, I saw him, he was like, he wasn't eating good one day. And I thought, well, it's just a bad tooth or something. So um, we looked in there and we couldn't find a bad tooth. And then I took it to town and we x-rayed it and still no bad tooth. And so then we finally decided it must be like a piece of wire, a piece of stick or something got in his jaw and just made an abscess. So we opened it up, drained the abscess, and then I've been flushing it out for, I don't know, two or three weeks. And so now it's pretty much dried up and the, it's, it's not swollen up anymore and today yesterday was his last day of nucaprim which is an antibiotic so i won't get on him today and ride him and see how we get along if we ride around pretty nice here today then we might actually bring the buffalo well i'll tell you about it the buffalo we'll tell you uh, we might bring him in we'll see let me trot him around in here for a little bit warm him up Every time I get on, it doesn't matter what horse I get on, when I first get on them, we back up in a circle. A backward circle. Does that make sense? Is that right? Backward circle. It's just what I do with all my horses. Because this is kind of my turnaround I want right here. So as soon as they, as soon as I get on them, they like, I think those buffalo, if we bring them buffalo, they're gonna be pretty wild. So I want to trot him around a little bit, just kind of get the fresh out of him. I need to plow the arena again. I've got it all. We had so much stuff in here, putting these new doors in here. So this horse, he's never, I've never worked a buffalo on these guys. So what we have, what I was talking about the buffalo. So if you watch my other videos, you know the buffalo cows attack my bulls. So we wean those calves off those cows. So the calves, the three calves are sitting right here. And so it's time to bring them in, get them used to coming in the arena, and uh, kind of start getting them settled down in here and see if we can't start using them to work our horses on. We'll see. So I guess I'll shut all these gates. He feels pretty good. Bell, look out. Get in, hey! 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 That's the one I thought was right over you. Hey! Get your ass in Hey! Get in there! Hey! Hey! Get over there. Oh! Whoop! That was teeth. There you go. Now get on down there. Easy, Buffalo. Well, wild one escaped. Hey, get on that, hey! Come on, try to kill. Get on that, hey! 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 
Plan B or C or D or something. Get in there. Well, this isn't going well at all. Pretty crazy, huh? Hey! Hey! Yeah, I think that buffalo's on the hook now. He just pissed. Yeah, if the buffalo would just leave now, I'd be good. I just can't get him out of here now. I don't want him to learn how to get on, learn that he's got, he can get on the hook. That ain't gonna work at all. So we're bringing them in, we just fuzzed them up and we cut, this one came off by himself. So I thought, well, he'll come in here and work and he immediately got on the hook. Now I can't get him to move. He just, I don't want him to learn that he can charge a horse. So I want him to just kind of ease on out. But he won't go. That's working. That's working. <laughs> That's working. <laughs> That's working. <laughs> That's funny. The gate's open, buddy. You can go home if you want to. Walk up. Walk up. There you go. Get a hole. Get a hole. Get a hole. There. Easy. Walk up. Easy, champ. Easy, champ. Get a hold. Get a hold. Easy. Easy there, champ. Easy here. Let him walk off, buddy. He's mad, okay? Go easy, champ. Walk up. Walk up, champ. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up, champ, walk up, get a hole. Atta boy, get a hole, get a hole. Come by, come by, get a hole. Champ, away, away. Atta boy, come on, champ, there you go. Whoa, easy champ, good boy, there. Walk up, walk up, walk up. Reed, get a hold. Walk up. Right, walk, get up, boy. Get up, boy. Get him. Get him, Reed. Good girl. There you go. Get a hold. Get a hold. Get a hold. Get a hold. Go, champ. Look out, champ. Easy, champ. 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 Easy, champ. Champ. This guy's turned into an asshole, hasn't he? All right, so here's the deal. I just thought, since I hadn't rode him in so long, that I, it'd be a good job just running buffalo in here and just kind of get him used to this. Well, the black buffalo, so these are the calves. These aren't, these aren't the cows, these are the calves. They've never been in here, so I thought, well, I'll just run them down in here. Well, the black buffalo ran through the fence. She got all everybody all jacked up when she got gone. The bull's still out there running up and down the fence. This one came in. This is the littler cow or heifer. So I thought, well, hell, we'll just bring her in here. And so I ran her around a minute and she immediately got on the hook. So now we're stuck in the middle of the pen. I can't get her to do anything. Every time I try to push her, she runs me off. She's working my dog, running my dogs off. So I don't know. I'm gonna regroup here. I gotta take a leak. 
So it looks like that other bull, the bull's coming in here now to see what's going on. This is what we we're needing. <clears throat> we'll just stay back here and watch them and maybe it'll calm everybody down. Either that or it's twice the trouble now. Well, it turned into a wreck. It wasn't what we were after. Cause the damn, if they're gonna hook you, they're damn sure no good to me. That's all we needed. We needed a little, somebody come up, talk a little sense into the crazy sucker. You always need a bull to talk sense into the, into the girl. Say, hey, quit being a freaking nut. So, I don't know, that turned into a wreck. So they're no good to me if they're gonna get, get, get on the hook like that. So we gotta, re, we gotta rethink this deal. Yeah, we'll try again another day. See if we can run them all in. I gotta get that, that one's out, but. I think what I will do, my horse is all jacked up from that buffalo. I think what I'm gonna do, go down there and shut that gate and I'm gonna work the flag. And just that way I can get a little work on him today. That sound good to you, bub? Like, man, what the hell is that? It's like first time you show me buffalo and the son buck trying to kill me. All right, so here's the deal. Oh, oh, bub. We're just having a wreck with them buffalo. It was not good for him. He got him all jacked up and uh, He's pretty stirred up right now. So what I want to do is I'm just going to finish up a day. I'm going to hit the flag, which the flag is something I can control and run slow or fast or whatever I need to do. I just want to finish the day on a better note. You know, it's just, a, I don't want to finish the day with him thinking about that buffalo, having nightmares of that buffalo chasing him or whatever else, you know? So, um, so I just want to have a, I just want to work him on the, on the flag a little bit here and try to get his mind back right. He took the buffalo deal pretty good. I mean, he, I don't know if he was scared. I was scared. I was scared he was gonna buck me off and leave me for buffalo bait. Look, there he's good. Now sit. You know, I don't, I don't show cutters at all anymore, but I still want my horse to be able to do it. This, this is a ranch. See, he was a little lazy there. That looks like a good place to quit right there. All right, so I'm gonna let him look at it and I'm gonna turn him across this cow. Never turn him away from the cow. Always across the cow. One time, then two. Then we can walk away. There you go, bub. You're a good boy. Good boy. That buffalo was completely worthless. I hope that's not the, I hope that's not the case because that'd be pretty disappointing, but normally them buffalo kind of run and just stay away from you, but when they get on the hook, they go in my freezer pretty fast. We ended up good here though. I thought he worked good for being, I mean, he's been sitting in the stall for over a month and with a bad abscess. And then I pulled him out and tried to get a buffalo to kill us. And so that's what a flag's good for. Let's finish up the day. So good deal. Let's cool him off a little bit here. So CD reloaded is that horse over there. That's the daddy to the yearling you saw me work last week or something. This is also a clone to Sister CD. Clone to Sister CD, clone to Sister CD. These are identical twins and they're both clones. The only thing difference is, is I gilded this one to make a horse I can use. And that one is a stallion that we used to breed with. So, so I'm, sure, I'm sure somebody asked, why don't you just leave him a stallion? Well, stallions are pretty tough and they're bullheaded and they're just a pain in the butt to put up with. So a gilding is a lot easier to deal with. I didn't mean to make her work so hard today. I didn't. I thought we were gonna have an easy day just trotting buffalo around, but no. Well, nobody died today, no buffalo. All, everybody survived the day, no dogs died. And um, don't forget to 
do the do the thumbs up thing and the subscribe and don't forget to notify uh, hit the notification because if we go live on a grass fire or something like that in a helicopter you sure enough want to be notified for that so all right we had a good day see y'all next week john just pulled up with all my all my mounts so we just got through working the horse so he just pulled up so this is digger man that looks good there you yeah. so uh so if you remember in the old videos we found digger just as a skull he had this was still in velvet but it'd been eight eight off so john redid all that and that's pretty freaking good i think you'll be about one probably about 180. yeah high 180s maybe low 190s yeah maybe 190s he had another little bitty drop point over here, but it was it was just little bitty guy. That's a good deer. So this deer here, now this deer here is it, he is dead. We found him dead. But I had to remember we had the video of him. We found him horseback. We was gathering. Oh man, that's a big deer there. Woo. <laughs> So this is pink. We hadn't seen pink at all this year. So I assume pink is probably dead, but this is his antlers. I think that crab claw. It's huge. That is so cool. You, you never see a crab claw that big. Mm -mm. So he scored 242 gross. That is a big old deer. So if you hadn't heard me talk about it, what I do is we'll take this cape is off of a, like a junker deer that we shot out here on the ranch. And we'll take the cape, we'll find the antlers and then we'll, John will mount the antlers back up on the form and we'll put a cape off of one of these junker deer that we shot out here on this one. All right, let's go look at Mendota Max. So this next one's Mendota Max. This was him from last year. You know, I think he's actually wider this year than he was. He is super wide this year. He, he law, he's got maybe this drop time, but he doesn't have that drop time. Or maybe I got a switch, I don't remember. He broke, he broke this completely off this year. So we gotta redo this okay. when, we, when I find his antlers. So, so Mendo to Max, he's still doing good. I saw him live a couple days, yesterday actually. Still had both antlers. We've already got a cape ready for him. Um, John's got me a cape ready, so as soon as I find the antlers, as soon as he sheds and I find the antlers, we'll have this year. So I got last year's and then uh, this year's. So this would be his um, five-year-old year, five-and-a-half-year-old year. I got the four in the house, five here, and then six he's still carrying on his head. This, this one scored, gosh dang, it's heavy. Scored 272, 272 inches. Freaking unbelievable. Man, he's a beast. Low fence deer. That's what it looks. That's what it looks like when he's hauling ass, and you, <laughs> and he's like going over the hill. So, John, how long you been? How long you been doing taxidermy? Uh, I've been doing it for six years. What do you call your deal again? Uh, it's DTR taxidermy. DTR, and you're in Panhandle. Yes, sir. Mainly just deer, antelope, uh, mule deer. Uh, I'm gonna do some. Do some life size like bobcats and uh, coyotes and stuff like that. Hadn't got into birds or fish or anything like that yet, so mainly just kind of stick to yeah. what I love doing, and that's the that's the whitetail and mule deer pretty much. Did you do the math? Did you say 700 inches of it's horn? Uh, 700 inches of horn. That's over 700 inches. That's a lot of horn. That's all. This is all one year. You know, and in taxidermy, you don't you don't really get a whole lot of deer like this. Not I get some, area, no, not in this area. I get, I get some really good deer each year, but I know when Jason calls me, I know I'm gonna have some <laughs> really big ones. These are, you know, these, these are not pen raised deer. These are, you know, these are all native deer. Maybe I've helped them along the way, you know, killing this and doing that, but I've got another deer, I call him mini, mini pink. He looks just like pink, but he's just a little smaller. I saw him the other day. He's forked like this, forked and forked, and he's got um, little kickers. And But he had a drop time last year. He didn't have it this year. I got some plans for Mendo to Max. He's going to be, I keep a close eye on that boy. Well, when he when you see him live out in the pasture, like we see him about every night, 
when we're out shooting. When he turns his head, it looks like a freaking semi turn around. It's just like, holy cow. Night Force was out here. We was working on some of their scopes. They want to put him in there as a, as in a, their uh, ad, in one of their ads as him as in their reticle. Yeah, he's famous. He's, he's going to be super famous. Yeah, they were out here with us and we were like, and they was like, when we, I'm like, oh, hell, you guys fix and get a treat. I said, look down there and they're like, holy crap. Thanks, man. That didn't take long, huh? Didn't take long getting knocked out, did it? You knocked him out 700 inches of horns.